uh, once again for another episode of the Columbus Cotton Mouse expansion franchise series. Um, so we are currently four and five, sitting at sixth place in the Central Division. Um, our next matchup is going to be against the uh, St. Louis Blues, so we are going to go ahead and get right into that match. Greetings, everyone, with Ray Ferraro downstairs and the old Jack upstairs. I'm Mike Emery. November, just to start on the hockey season, yet the outcome of a game like this one tonight is important. And let's head down to ice level. Here's Ray Ferraro. Both coaches have been pacing up and down behind their bench, waiting for the puck to be dropped, as this should be a hotly contested game. I don't see much difference between the two teams. Another terrific night of hockey here. Opening face-off done. Play in. The Pythons added a W to their stats in their last game by executing on their plan very effectively. And angled to Botman. To Tarasenko. Up the wing, he still has possession and moves ahead. Columbus setting things up in the defensive zone. Moves it to the shadow of the boards. Slides it to the point. Fires! That's what those pads are for. Let's it go. Tipped away. There we Referee go. over to the penalty box. And we've got and our first out. power play of the St. game. Louis has a minor penalty. I'm not sure what it was. Imagine tripping. See a cross check? Look at the player's hands and positioning uh, on his no. stick. Get a Tarasenko for cross checking, but didn't look like There's one always me, a start to your power play we'll night, and this is number one. Nobody stands around on this power play. Somebody is always moving. Wonderful save with a pad. Oh, great cut. Three minutes, 40 seconds. They must retreat and start back again. Carried to the corner boards by Carlson. Pass off the mark oh. thanks to the defender stick. Collected by Bogosian. Pass attempt to Vermeestroff. Stands him up. That's a solid play and he keeps the attack going with this. Cleared back out. Not much pressure there. Taken on by Bogosian. Looking for options up the wing. Should be our last rush here of the power the play. Point. See if we can manage Let's go to convert. Couldn't get Doesn't through there. Look like we will. Gaining space, maybe time. Uh, Columbus okay. failed on that yep. power play. Uh, don't that get the uh, goal them. on the Penalty power play. But had a couple good shots. They and, get their uh, man back on the ice, as you mentioned. And now they're there it is. Uh, deflection goal there by I think for me strong we got that one. Uh, I think he's already got a couple on the season, so that should probably be his third or first goal, third or fourth goal of the season. Yeah, third goal there. Well, Mistrov's fortunate to knock that puck out of midair and score from that yeah, angle. Yeah, knock that one out Some of uh, midair after one Carlson a took the shot. Lot of opportunities. Love the off mindset of getting of pucks and people pads. to the Passing one off now to Clutterbuck. Alexander Bernstrom. Let's it go. Stared him down and made the save. It seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Puck covered. Whistle blown. A little under eight minutes have been played. Pythons lead 1-0. Solid clean win. Snaps a shot. Ah, uh, trip. And we get a penalty here. The referee strides uh, over yeah. to hand it out. I do the, do the poke check the too Pythons much sometimes. And, uh, it gets me. And uh, unfortunately, oh, we uh, trip our first penalty no of the game. Uh, the by the Nino. From the attacking and, player. Uh, end up getting a tripping call. The Blues now get their will, first uh, power play of the game. They were able well, to kill off their first play being down in this game. penalty kill of the Eddie, game. I'm with you on that. Power Let's play see beginning. if we can kill off our first as well. Shoot! Score! Oh. And this 
Uh, Hutchinson gives up a uh, rebound, blocking it off his pad. It was uh, sitting right there in the crease for who got that Alexander Steen. So, um, makes it 1-1. One, one with 11.23 left, Tarasenko gets the primary assist on that one. Do that. The goal scorer is able to pounce on the rebound. It's an onside play. Carried through center ice by Alex Petrangelo. On to Stastny. Gives it to the point. Propelled to Pareko. Heading down low. And he gets it back. The Blues are winning this shift. Save. Columbus controls it in their own zone. Cleared back out so more players can spill over the boards. There that defuses the attack for now. They're they able to clear it and uh, whistle to stop playing. Fortunately, uh, Allen picked up the puck here and in the uh, we were able and to, so it is one to one. beat the icing and then uh, he decided to freeze it. So Clean we went on the draw. Get an offensive drone, offensive zone face off here. Wants the shelter of the corner here. Gives it on a cross from the point. Picks it up back there. The Blues with possession up the wing. Good place. Oh my goodness. That was a beautiful goal there by, uh, I'm not sure who that was. We got that one. Hutchinson gave up that one. Uh, Robbie. Fabry looks like uh, gives that one up high side on the stick side. So uh, now we are down 2-1 here midway. Oh, the past midway here in the first period. Good job tying the man up on the faceoff. Teammate comes in. Decides he wants the corner. Back and forth they go between the points. What a hit! Steen's play is so energetic early. He wants to get a hit in so his team knows that they're all ready to go. Oh, a save. The Pythons have moved to the neutral zone. Directing that one to Pitlick. Jostled off the puck. He lost it, jostled part way down. There we go. I think that's another cross checking. Two mm -hmm. up on the board against them I did see that one. Checking. Uh, Ryan Reeves, everybody's you favorite player. Stick, but once you cause uh, from get, the gets caught for the uh, cross check. It doesn't look like he's a uh, fan of the call there, the but uh, nevertheless, we would say uh, cross Hasn't check, and we yet. will go to the power play here for the second time, see if we can convert this one. time. Hammer. No, block. I don't see too many guys oh. getting away of blocking that shot. That thing had some heat on it. Snapping a pass to Abdulkader. The check, no chance on the pass. Penalty call coming. Oh, watch for his signal. Have a, uh, another penalty coming up here. I'm not sure what this one was. Edmondson gets a, uh, I think, said interference penalty. Especially. So uh, we will have our third power play here and we're now on a five on three and we it's definitely need to score here power play. Um, and it begins now clear a lot of work but penalty time less and less now rodin's got it in his own end headed towards center gains the zone right to the point puck grab they're ready to go Takes that pass from the other point man. And off target with that one. Every once in a while, you unload a clunker. That was one of them. Tries to clear. And the penalty killer so come up big again. to clear it's it out. Cleared. Which will uh, kill off the five on three, Played essentially. On but we'll still have a power play still for 37 seconds. Shoots one. Great and glove save. Uh, get another shot. Well, Allen saves it. Uh, with a minute 20 left here in the, uh, in the first not period. Not hasn't he had a point in a number of games, but he's not even creating any chances. That becomes the real red flag. Nice face-off work. St. Louis with some splendid penalty killing here. 
Pythons are moving the puck in their own end. And now it's directed to Carlson. The Pythons' power play got plenty of practice that time, but no finish. Save! Big drive, just a bit onside. Flings it. Outstanding work with the glove. So there you have it. There is the first end of the first finished. period. Um, down 2-1 against the St. Louis Blues. To carry into the, locker room. the Blues own a one-goal lead. First period shots on goal. Pretty lopsided. 12 for Columbus and 6 for the Blues. St. Louis has gotten the go-ahead goal and it looked just like this as we had to All right, so we're now down 2-1 here going into the uh, second period. Uh, Going to see if we can uh, make a comeback here. Um, had some very good opportunities on the power play, but we're just unable to uh, convert. And you can see the stats. They went 1-1, one one, we went 0-3. Um, I think that's the story of the game so far. Um, other than that, everything's pretty much the same try and uh, make some sort of comeback here in the second uh, at least tie it up that way we are uh, not down going into the third our game is in the middle period and it's underway right now jostled part way down he lost it and possession established on the pickup by Alex Petrangelo nap by Brodeen pitching it to Bonino Gets in, looks over his options here. They score! And they've tied the game up. Beautiful goal there by Benino. As we tied up just under two minutes into the first period. Second period, excuse me. He had Benino people had chasing him down on a break. We finally found away. a way to score. And uh, Allen's not able, able to block to, this uh, perfectly placed shot. Again. It's just inside the goal post. Almost Could have passed unstopped. Allen. The Pythons have gotten this back into a tie, and there's loads of time left. We're only in the second period. Benito's fourth goal of the season, and Brody the Blues picks up control the, from the faceoff. Uh, picks up the assist. Pitching this one to Schwartz. Tie the game here. At Enormous two. collision. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Brody's shoulder absolutely annihilates him as he goes into the ice. They win the draw. And the loose puck gathered in by Bonino. The Pythons continue on at center. Slid to Abdelkader. Glove! Oh, he thought he had him on the glove side. Fabry's been able to produce on such a consistent basis over the past few games. His streak continues as he has been in the middle offensively of everything that they do. Under four minutes played here in the second. Both teams have connected twice. Looking to Steen. St. Louis carries it through the neutral zone. Puck is thrown to Fabry. He's got that point pass. Terrific pad save. Trying to go to Clutterbuck. And he continues in neutral ice. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Looking to headman up the wing. Good place to shoot from. Controlled by Alex Steen. The Pythons with possession in center ice. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Pass attempt to Fabry. And snap to Gunnarsson. Oh, what a chance, what a save. Columbus is starting things up, but back deep. Up the wing, moving along. Using the point. With a blast! Broke it up well with the poke check. Passing one off now to Edmondson. Moving it to Laterra. Directing that one to Yurko. Oh, broke it up. Snapping a pass to Smith Belly. Chip to Berglund. 
Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Shoots one. Pythons lug that along in the defensive zone. Gains the blue line. Shoots one. Puck covered, whistle blown. Some, uh, some good physical play right there, uh, going down uh, midway through the Routine second stop period. Routine the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better and job They were able to get him. a few shots. We were able to get a few shots. Um, but none of neither of us were able to convert. So uh, still 2-2 here with seven minutes left in the second Defensive period. zone win. On to Stastny. Back in his defensive end to get it. Loose puck knocked away by Stastny. Now it's directed to Zingle. Propelled to Franson. Nicely into the zone. A shot. Play is stopped, and now we'll hear the call. Columbus is given a two-minute minor for tripping. The Blues go on the power play again. They have right, connected to once already. Here on the uh, power penalty kill. Uh, can't six, afford to let them uh, score again. The, the, the Pythons wheel it up the wing. They get the go-ahead goal. Through the corner. They're going to bring it down in here. St. Louis so leaves his own end. Time here. The Blues, through the neutral zone, accelerate to the line. Fires, wonderful save. Cranks one, great block shot. Snaps a wrist shot, great save. Pitching it to Steen, pitching this one to Petrangelo. Vladimir Tarasenko with it now. Watch him, dangerous and exciting. Turned on net, just missed the net. In this situation, you have to hit the net. Sometimes it's best just to fire it right at the goaltender. In the crease. Shot misses the net. The Blues power play let him down at a very important time. Well, you can't expect to score every time on the power play, but you would like to generate go. a few more chances than they did on this last one. They were good early in the game. They were able to be successful with the power play, but this one wasn't very good. Snaps it on goal. You can shot almost off. count that one, but no, what a save. And uh, now have two, two times. Hutchison's four. ability to read the play was pretty good there as he got across to make the stop on that on man run. A good tie up on the faceoff. That led to his team getting the puck. No completion on that pass, thanks to the defender. And there you have it, end of the second We've period. We've played two periods uh, here of a three-period game. Right off the, the right off the bat, of the day about a minute and a half coming up. with uh, Check Benito. out the shots on goal through these two periods. Uh, to tie it up to two for and Columbus head into and head into the third period. What a 2-2 tie against the uh, St. Louis Blues. There's the goal right there by Benito. We are still tied, tied as we head to Green. Now we're going to have to... Uh, See if we can uh, get anything going here in the third in order to um, get get the lead and see if we can win win the uh, win the game. Third period has begun. The next one could be the winning one. With a shot. Wow, what a hit. What a mean spirited oh, hit. He'll be taken to task for that one. Benito's, Benito's on the receiving end of a big hit. Play. He's down on the ice right now. Brings a shot. A wonderful shot answered quickly. You talk about cutting down the angle Benito? perfectly executed by the goaltender. Benito's injury was yep. apparent as yep. soon as you saw this hit. That's Huge not collision. Bone rattling like he's, uh, limping off the ice. The Heading back to the locker room, so we'll uh, we'll have to see how he is doing after the game. Good reach there. But for now, Nicely we're be without at the our point. captain and top line center. Take it to the slot. 
Oh my gosh. Own goal. All kinds of odd goals happen from time to time. This one just works its way in. I'm not sure if Hutchinson knocked that one in or if Brodeen knocked that one in. But, St. Louis um, has broken the tie. Regardless, either way, we're in the third it period, is uh, now 3-2 St. Louis with 17-45 left Shoots it off. in the third seized by Abdelkader. Stood up there, looking to Tarasenko. The Blues look to make a difference up the wing. Gathered up again by Brodie. And that's directed up the wing to Smith Belly. Laid on to Yurko. Off a body. Gets in. What'll he do? Around through the corner right now. Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you gotta find a way to put the puck in the net. That play is offside, and so back to center ice for the face. -off. Allen's made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save and he makes it look really easy. A little under six minutes have passed. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one goal contest. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Can you say ping? Trailing in the game, you need a lot of things to go right for you to get back into it. They just don't get the bounce there, and they could have really used it. Not what we want there. Um, Carlson's headed to the immediately a minor for take a penalty right Hoping after to to hitting the, the post. He kept his legs moving. And he uh, the back now back on the penalty kill for the Blues third time get another tonight. Opportunity on the power play. They have connected once already. Good face-off win. Slid to Schwartz. Nice tip of the pass. Puck is thrown to Pitlick. Gets in. What'll he do? That hit somebody. Puck held near the point. Chip to Edmondson. Trying to go to Fabry. Good stick down on the ice, so nothing there good go. happening there. Clear that out. The Blues have a manpower advantage still and begin from their own end. Shot on. Outstanding save. Just on reputation, you can smell a goal there. One-timer. Not through. Waits with it. Puts one on. Score! A Just had too much press, the pressure team. there on the uh, power play. Makes it up. Four to two, St. Louis. Not what we want. The shooter had a couple of different options here. He could pass or shoot. He decided on the ladder and beat the goaltender clean. The goalie's in perfect position here, just not perfect yeah, enough. See if we can this is uh, a really come back. Shot. Two goals in Solid uh, win at eleven minutes. Now what? Oh. No. Goodness. On to Petrovic. Pass attempt to Faust. Up the wing, he continues possession. Gives it over to the point. Tumbled to one knee and he lost it. Hammers one. Save. Good, uh, good slap shot there. Almost. Uh, Almost able to get something the going. That's one of the great things There's about our next three matchups there. You get to see a lot of the hockey world come right in, and you're watching it from the very Hello, uh, I see if somebody else watching. Um, Big face-off win. This is the um, Columbus oh, Cottonmouth right uh, franchise expansion. Great save. You know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. There's he's got Fabry. a couple of goals in his back pocket already. Two and goals already. Number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. Possession established. Good reach there. Loose puck taken by Brodziak. Passing one off now to Pareko. Let's it go. Got a piece of that one. Score! There we go. And it's a one goal one game. Goal game.
Was that Benito? I think he may have come back. Or maybe may have been Jerko. Yeah, Jerko. Fifth goal of the season. I think this is only our 10th game, so he's averaging on, up, on pace really for 40 goals. We'll see, though. I doubt he'll be able to keep that pace up, but uh, nevertheless, scores his fifth goal the here in the are third now period. Now, only one goal back. Goal in the third. The Blues win the draw. What's next? Good defensive play. Loose puck though. Score! Back and forth they go. And we immediately give up another goal. He looked to be cherry picking in behind a defense, and it worked. He found himself on a breakaway. A lot of times the goaltender feels like his positioning is perfect and he's got the net covered. Guess what? He doesn't. The Blues control from the neutral zone. St. Louis in control as they travel up the wing. Let's it go. This scrum will end soon. Skate kick out of the scrum. Loose puck regathered by Brodeen. Out of his own end as he carries it. Propelled to Yurko. No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. The goalie makes himself look big. Laid on to Abdulkader. Got his stick on it. He froze that just for a break. We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. Word from the home team's locker room is they're going to be short a player for the rest of the night. The injury occurred a while ago. He will not return. Takes that pass from the other point. No. Terrific opportunity, but a missed pass, and so they have to drop back. You don't take a knee in hockey just for He lost it. And he's hammered. They're trying to chip their way back into this game. One way to do it is with that check. Wow, what an aggressive. And a save. Possession taken by Schwartz. Can't get a shot on. Good work out of the attack. In the third. Last minute to go in the third. He takes that point pass. Sacrificial play on that block shot. Hoisted wide to Steen. Columbus in their own end controlling play now. Up the wing and moving well. Wonderful block. Slid to Steen. And I believe Moving that's going to end it. Um, we doubt we'll get. Well, maybe we will. And in flight Another over the chance. What about he hits, hits the, the post. post? Enormous hit. That is a huge hit. Offside stops the clock. So it looks like the final score here is going to be 5 3 St. Louis. Hutchinson, yeah, like hasn't been doing so good tonight, giving up some weak like goals. Uh, goals that I think here. should have been stopped. But, anyways, they got in and uh, scores 5 3. The draw, the tie up, and his team prevails. St. Louis in control of the puck up the wing. Sashay's by! Hangs on to that one and, and he'll Hutchinson see a makes a right surprisingly here. good save uh, to uh, stop the clock with six sec six seconds left, and uh, I believe that should do it. Off I don't the face think off, he we'll ties his man up, and so the puck goes to his team. Get a Shoot. shot, we do. But the game is over. Go in. One team leaves and, the ice uh, with a smile. Final score will be five to three. With the, the win, St. Louis Blues winning that match. Much. We're gonna have games uh, like this, and over the course of the season, these type we'll, of games uh, head back into out. the uh, loading That's screen. It for here. Great night at There's your final stats. Everything saying, pretty good even. Evening, everyone. Um, each team had three power plays. They converted on one. Uh, we didn't convert on any. They had the advantage in face-offs by three, and had a couple more hits. Uh, there's your three stars of the game, Fabry, Tarasenko, and Steen. Um, so we'll head back here.
MCL spring. His estimated return is November 30th. All right. Let's see here. Well, let's move everybody up. And who will come here? Who do we have that is scratched? Uh, Nordstrom and Clifford. Who's got the better face off? Definitely Nordstrom. So we'll substitute there. Special teams. Um, yeah. And then Carlson substitute. the best lines there make sure we're still good here yep everything looks good to go and Kyle Clifford is the guy who will come in and substitute for Nick Benino um, let's see how many games he played four games this year got an assist and negative two on his plus minus so hasn't really done much in the four games that he played in, but we will back here. <sighs> Excuse me. So with that loss, it puts us at sixth in the central, four points back of fifth, and um, one point ahead of the Preds and the Avalanche. So. Nothing interesting there. So let's see. He said he'll be back November 30th. So how many games is he going to miss? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 games. Wow. He will be um, severely missed in those 15 games. So for now, we're going to do the sim like we normally do on the non-conference, uh, non-divisional games. So we're going to sim up to the Winnipeg game. Pick up a loss. Okay, so Hutchinson rejects, Denault accepts, Ratty accepts. Another loss and a win. So we go two and two with a 1-0 and a 2-0 win. Uh, to put us at six and eight on the year, what is the AHL team doing? They're doing uh, eight and six, so they're not doing too bad. So the new points leader on the team is Carlson, passing Abeldeco. Excuse me, Abelcator, um, who's got eight goals in 14 games, so that's really good. Um, has everybody gotten a point? No, Cody Franson, uh, he's only played one game. Uh, Pitlick does not, however, 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 have a point in his uh, full 14 games. Let's see how the goalies are doing. Not sure why Lassie Layton has 
played in a game, uh, not doing too well in that game that he played in. Um, And, um, I believe that is where, well, we're gonna, why don't we look at the, uh, full standings before we, uh, turn off here. So there you can see our central division standings. Uh, we sit at six and eight. So in the entire league, we are in, where are we, 24th place. Uh, could be better, but uh, it's not too, too bad. As you can see down here, 32 goals, you know, pretty much average. Wow, Bruins uh, not doing well at all. And so that's where um, I'm going to stop the stream here. Um, so thank you. I saw one or two people in here. So thank you if you were one of those two. Uh, and uh, I'll be back.